Yesterday, the Amoca 60 fleet set sail from New York, heading for Spain. They were not the only ones to leave New York. The race organisation team also headed towards Barcelona, where they'll be based for the next three weeks. New city, new office. The team took up residence in the Port Authority building of Barcelona. The offices are comfortable, which is very different from what the skippers will endure for the next two weeks. They will live in a Spartan universe. We'll share their life with you every day until the end of the race. Now, back to the race. After leaving New York in light airs, the fleet sailed upwind on the Hudson River before rounding the mark in front of the Statue of Liberty. At Ambrose Light, a few hours after the start, the wind became more stable. Very close fight with these other boats. Saffron got a little ways ahead of us uh, in the afternoon because they went closer to the shore than we did. But uh, since then, we've been um, we've been pushing hard to get back to them. With you know, at one point I think they were five miles ahead of us on the water, and we're down to three now. So that's good. Yeah, I think I've had maybe four hours of sleep, and Pepe has had he had like two and a half, and now he's asleep again right now. So. Safran has sailed a course to the north of the fleet and probably found a little more wind, which has allowed them to take the lead over Hugo Boss, Geis and Neutrogena. The boats are now sailing downwind in light conditions. They'll have to make a tactical decision in the coming hours. They can sail north of the low pressure system, which is in front of them. It's the shortest route, but it's upwind. The other option is to go south. It's longer, but downwind, which will give them more speed. Stay tuned. We'll know tomorrow if the fleet has split in two or if they've all taken the same option. <laughs>